want to talk about productivity today, specifically being productive as a musician or an artist, anyone in the creative field, because I think for us it follows a different sort of parameters. I finally got this Michael Brecker transcription done, and I say finally because it took way longer than I projected it was gonna take, and it kind of left me feeling like I was in a negative zone with my productivity. It's not like I wasn't working on the solo or I was diddle daddling, uh, diddle daddling. Yeah, it was just the solo took way longer than expected. To give you perspective, within the first two weeks, I was able to spend, you know, here and there, uh, all together, it was like six to seven hours on the solo. And I learned only 30 seconds of that solo, and it's a minute and a half solo. So it took me a little longer than expected. And I believe when you're using the creative parts of your mind, it's hard to project, like, how long something is gonna take, or to clock how long something took, and then use that as a blueprint for future tasks similar to that. So if I learned a minute solo and it took me about three hours, then I can say a solo with the same level of difficulty, that's a minute long, will take me three hours. But I find that's really not the case. There's just so many factors that go into play. The solo might um, have things that I have heard a lot before, so it's a lot easier that way. The solo might have things I've never heard before and it makes it hard, so it's hard to clock that out. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't schedule yourself out or set goals for yourself. I mean, I, I wouldn't be able to function if I didn't make a schedule for myself. But for instance, when you're in music school, if you go to music school, you get deadlines all the time. You, you have lessons every week, you have performances, uh, master classes, all that stuff is crucial for your development to set goals for yourself. But how many times did you get to a lesson and sometimes you're satisfied with how you play, but with the same amount of workload that your teacher gives you, the next week you're like, man, I wish I had more time to get this into my playing, to get this into my ears. And that's just it. It's a process. Everything in music and most things in life, it's a, there's a process and it's constantly improving. Yes, the tasks and the goals are very important to do and set for yourself because that's how you improve and get better, but they're all cumulative and each Task is not the definition of what you are or your, your craft, you know, that's what it comes down to. So trusting the process is something that you have to remind yourself of. It's a lot easier said than done. For instance, when I, when I was learning the Brecker solo the past few weeks, I was just beating myself up because I was like, man, why aren't you getting this done quicker? You've done things like this before, it took you uh, quicker, and why isn't it happening like that? And there is a little technique or concept that I use to help myself with this. It's called point zero, but I'm not going to talk about it in this video because it's too long. But make sure if you're on YouTube, subscribe. Uh, if you want to subscribe to my email list, that's also a possibility. I'd really appreciate that so you don't miss that video if you're interested. If you guys, musicians, anyone in artistic endeavors have anything to say about this, comment, email me, whatever. Um, so now we'll get to the solo. This is Michael Brecker's solo from Slings and Arrows, the tune Slings and Arrows off of the album Tales from the Hudson. Yeah. 